Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between South Africa and Bangladesh. It's going to be an important game for South Africa because they were at the cusp of victory and then I don't know if it was stolen away or how it was but they, they, the point was shared and for Bangladesh they won their first game but uh, I must say that Netherlands did give a good fight just that they lost a few wickets to run outs which made them susceptible. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through this preview and a day full of games. Bilkul, yes. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, as we keep saying so far, things have gone well. We've seen some games go really crazy. Uh, be it uh, the England game where uh, I don't think England used their resources well. So that is something that you, have, that you can't figure out. You don't should not expect Liam Livingston to take three wickets when you have At the death. To, at the death, bowling the 18th over. So, again, uh, that is something that you can't control. Uh, so, I think you can't factor for that level. It is too big a risk to take. So, small leagues, may just have to go with forms. And don't do anything with that. And then, let's see. Hopefully, we have a few good games today. As well. Yes, absolutely. So, first up, we look at venue conditions. And then, we have a jersey winner to declare from yesterday's game. So, first two games of the day are going to be played at the Sydney Cricket Ground. First, before we get to the ground conditions, keep in mind weather is slightly dicey. Rain is expected in the first game of the day. So, maybe the first game would be shortened. The chances of the rain are not too high. But yes, they are present. So, don't be surprised if it does end up raining. And uh, about the venue, Nikhil Bhai will tell you because like we know, this is sort of a mixed ground. It does help spin, but it's Australia, so pace will still play a big role. So that, but uh, again, I said, there will be a lot of factors here because there is a lot of rain, 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 so conditions, important hai par kya hame ye dekhna padega generally what is the pattern here to so, yahan pe pattern jaisa humne kaha pure australia mein it is around the same we get pass score of around 160 to 175 pacers i feel will continue to dominate kyunki the dimensions jaisa aap dekh rahe ho yahan pe hmm. this these are still good dimensions to try your spin spinner out but again uh, the aisa margin hoga ke 70 is still better than 80 so agar us side se batting kar rahe ho to you will want to target that one deep uh, so, if sides, side boundaries, they can be bigger. Hmm. Each angle. So, you can see that you can see So, Joe Galti has a lot of money. If you have a full dollar, you can see that 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 you can you can see that you can see so, that risk is coming, but it's a very off risk. Every time it will go. And like these two teams, they could really do a lot of jaymata bhi tomorrow. So, please be very careful. Ideally, it should be a normal game. Dono teams have equal advantage in terms of uh, teams and departments. Space and speed. Both will be in the game, but weather will dictate who bowls more. Yes, absolutely. And we have a cracking base team to share. So let's get to it. And yes, we'll have the jersey winners uh, announced in the second game of the day. Because like we mentioned on India match days, we will do the jersey giveaway in that game. So we'll also announce previous winners on that video itself. So let's get to the base team then. And before we get to the base team, we hope that all of you are enjoying the tournament leaderboard. I can see many of the FCP users in the top 20. So I guess now you guys have to make the push into the top 10 because the point difference is not that much. So make a few more teams and I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to accelerate because the prices and a lot of these prizes are going to make you accelerate in real time too. Marketing may expert cash in other three other brands as well. But uh, that's the point, you know. You have a strong base team, you have a good visualization. Try and make multiple teams with the same captain as captain position. Usi hoga ye ki abhi aap race me ho, aage bich, aage bich, aage bich, aage bich. 
वो एक गेम आएगी जब आपका कॉम्बिनेशन बैंग ऑन होगा दैट दे यूल बी एबल टू रेस अक्रॉस अदर्स गेट टू अ बेटर लीड इन टर्म्स ऑफ यूल स्टिल हैव समथिंग टू कवर अप फॉर अदर्स कि भाई आपको आगे आना पड़ेगा तो कवर नहीं आप तो ऐसे आपका बेस टीम अच्छा जा रहा है स्ट्रॉन्ग टीम स्ट्रॉन्ग जा रहा है तो प्लीज रोटेशन बनाओ मल्टीपल कॉम्बिनेशन बनाओ क्योंकि यू डोंट इवन यू डोंट यू डोंट इवन हैव टू डू टू मच डिफरेंस आई थिंक एक चीज हम बहुत ट्राई करते हैं कि ग्रैंड लिख के लिए you we try complete risk as it's not needed you still have to just need one base hmm. you just have to have that one base team of 8 to 9 players or fir baki do pe aap risk lo unhe captain vice captain mana and do work hmm. around like that so try your luck aur is pe to skill bhi hai zyada aur practical rewards bhi hai so i think like you know. yes absolutely and uh, before i we speak about the base team one common question that i get is which we saw in the australia sri lanka game is when people were joining small leagues many of you who were in the 39 19 till 89 range lost many of your small leagues while people who were 1150 745 i'm talking about entry fees here ended up winning those games so the common question is why are those guys putting more money and yet getting more and i'm putting so less and yet not winning with it so common human psychology is when you put lesser amount of money maybe that money is not lesser to you but maybe out of those four members it might be lesser to one person he might be more avid to taking extra risk in that league yes. because maybe that money does not mean anything to him so even if he comes fourth it does not matter to him but on the day when marcus toynes will hit 92 he'll come first also <laughs> so just that will be one trend that you'll observe that as you go higher in the small league entry fee pricing the amount of risk that a person will take will be lesser so just keep that in mind when you play small leagues that while dividing your money across two three leagues is important for small leagues try and have a uh, at least 400 450 budget so that you are able to join a 179 sort of league and obviously this is absolutely my personal opinion if you feel something works better for you you can do it but just a common question so i thought i should address aur bilkul aap actually kitna bhi upar jao कोई ना कोई तो अंबानी बैठा ही होता है तो आपको वैसा कोई एक अंबानी टाटा बिरला जो भी है इस फील्ड के आपको कोई ना कोई तो मिल ही जाएंगे तो दिस बैक एज से मेरे प्रति से डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नीड टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट योर अमाउंट अकॉर्डिंगली एंड एज पर योर टीम्स इन वेरियस कॉन्टेक्स्ट यस एब्सोल्युटली एंड दिस इज आवर बेस टीम सेटअप वी वेस्टेड टू मच ऑफ टाइम डिस्कसिंग एवरीथिंग एल्स बट लेट्स गेट टू इट uh keeper we have gone with quinton decock who's going to be vice captain obviously great captaincy choice too but obviously when someone takes that many amount of risk at the start of the innings so i won't say undue risk because he's timing most of it but still there yeah. can be a chance of miss it so hence vice captain and riley rasso and afif hussain obviously both have been the inform batters so there's not much reason to ponder bilkul yahan pe aap option dekhein to ये भी चीज याद रखना हमने ये टीम अब तक ये सोच के बनाई है कि अगर बारिश के कारण मैच रिड्यूस होता है एंड इट इज इन शेप ऑफ ऑफ 13 14 और शूट आउट एज वेल देन वी आर बैकिंग साउथ अफ्रीका टू कम ऑफ जस्ट हाउ इट वाज वर्सेस जिम्बाब्वे दैट वी हैव टेकन देयर बोलिंग अटैक एंड वी हैव ट्राइड टू फेक्स मोर ऑलराउंडर्स इनटू द साइड व्हिच इज व्हाई यू सी अफिफ इन द बैटिंग सेक्शन अफिफ दो हैज बीन वन ऑफ द स्टार प्लेयर्स फॉर सम टाइम नाउ एंड इज कंसिस्टेंटली डूइंग वेल और वो हिज नॉट स्लोगिंग हिज प्लेइंग प्रॉपर क्रिकेटिंग शॉट्स नॉट एग्रीकल्चर हिज शेयर एंड देयर एंड गेटिंग रन्स तो व्हिच इज व्हाई ही इज पार्ट ऑफ दिस इन अ चेंज यू कुड पोटेंशियली बैक होमा फिफ्थ के छोटा है जिसके बाद नॉट आउट मस्त फ्री में तो दैट कैन बी डन ही कैन टेक अ हैंड इन 2030 आउट ऑफ द गेम बट वी हैव गॉन विद रसो बिकॉज़ इंपैक्ट नॉक होगा ज्यादा आपको बाउंड्रीज और सिक्सेस से एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट्स मिल सकते हैं वहां पे तो इसके लिए रसो है Now we'll discuss more when we see if South Africa batting first. Yes, absolutely. Looking at the all-rounders, we have gone Musadik Hussain, Aidan Makram, Shakib Al Hasan, and Wayne Parnell. Musadik Hussain, keeping in mind that if you're expecting early wickets of Bangladesh, then middle order should be important, which would be Afif and Musadik would be key players. And uh, again, you guys would have the question on why Shakib not as captain, vice captain. We feel like he's taking. and here the this might be more undue and he is also going to be bowling to a lot of inform left handers so it might not be as easy bilkul aur weather conditions jaise humne kaha they are important uh, yes he is experienced enough you could simply back him as a common 
ऑप्शन वो बहुत लोग के आपको ऑप्शन में दिखेंगे कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन के फेयर भी है पर कंडीशन उन्हें सूट कर रहे हैं कि आई फी सेबल टू यूज द बाउंड्री इज वेल देन ही कैन सी ही कुड पोटेंशियल टेक थ्री फोर और पोटेंशियल नॉट डू एनी थिंग और जस्ट टेक वन विकेट लाइक द लास्ट गेम तो यहाँ पे हम जा रहे हैं जो लोग ज्यादा पोटेंशियल ऑप्शन आपको ज्यादा इससे बेटर है उनके साथ हम जा रहे हैं यहाँ पे एंड ऑफकोर्स यूर ऑलवेज फ्री टू मेक अर ओन कॉल्स बाकी के पिक्स में से मेन पार्नल बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि नए बॉल से वैल्यू है और ओवर कास्ट कंडीशन है तो इंश्योर गेट अ कपल अर्ली बांग्लादेश के बैटर सब ने लिए नहीं है क्योंकि वेर एक्सपर्ट इन न्यू बॉल के पूरा लाइन अप भर दिया जाएगा साउथ अफ्रीका की बॉलिंग से तो अनलेस दे डू व्हाट आयरलैंड डिड टू इंग्लैंड वी थिंक दिस शुड वर्क बाकी तो यू नो हाउ व्हाट ईयर दिस आर गोइंग यस एंड कीप इन माइंड दैट बांग्लादेश हैव लॉट ऑफ लेफ्ट हैंडर्स सो मे बी एडन माक्रम इज यूज्ड इन दिस गेम एंड मे बी ट्रिस्टन स्टफ्स आई डोंट नो देन द बॉलिंग your i i guess this is the most non questionable section because yeah. all these guys are pretty much in form and tuskin yeah. amad also bowled really well in the last game apart from that obviously lungi is a good option for captaincy vice captaincy when he bowls first but we will yeah. not discuss more grand league options in this section bilkul i think kaafi zyada obvious hai ye to please jaise ek option hai aapke while bowling first baki Let's discuss it. Yes, absolutely. And uh, here we have the Grand League options for this game. The section that makes her smile the most. So <laughs> let's get to hear it. I think एक एक और चीज़ add कर लेते हैं दोनों teams से एक एक Grand League option देते हैं. Let's make it even more uh, <laughs> enterprising for people. So uh, for From South Africa, I feel Samshi should play this game. Uh, hmm. If he does, slot him straight in. Uh, Bangladesh could either hit him for forty or give five wickets to him. So, team to upper de diya to apna kam ho jayega. And uh, for Bangladesh, I think Das Dada is the solution to their problems. He's been scoring runs sporadically. If he can get a good hmm. score in, so Bangladesh just look much different in it. So he's not keeping normal as it is. But uh, Das could really. उंडलीफॉर्म <laughs> Yasser Ali in the Bangladesh local T20 played really well, and I feel like he's someone who can hold his own against pace. It's not really come to the fore in many games yet on the world stage, but I'm expecting at least one good knock in through this World Cup from him. आज का वीडियो मार्क करके रखो पहली बार है कि किसी ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शन में साहब ने दो बैटर्स के नाम लिए याद रखो ये ऐतिहासिक दिन है. Yes, that that kind of day. And on that note, we will wrap up this specific preview. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. We hope all of you have a great game, and do hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Thank you, Jai Mataji. See you soon.